Hey, this is Chris, and this is a lo-fi hip-hop aesthetic using the Make Noise Tape and Micro Sound Music Machine, the Korg Volca Sample with Roland RD-808 samples, and an iPhone. I'm kind of a nerd. I just learned about lo-fi hip-hop a couple weeks ago, and I thought it was kind of an interesting aesthetic and kind of different than what I've been doing lately with my modular and I also thought with the tape and microsound music machine it was something that would be pretty easily performable. I'm not an expert by any means like I said I just found out about it. Some of the aspects though when I looked on YouTube about it were it has a vocal sample, a instrumental sample and it's that's jazz i guess typically and then it has some some low-key hip-hop drums and beats underneath helping carry it through so let's go ahead and get started the way that i've got this set up is i've got the korg volca sample loaded with the the rd808 roland samples driving with the sync out the wired woggle bug and from my iphone I've just got some notes um, with an uh, audio clip of Leaves on a Stream playing. Um, from the Morphogene, I just recorded a buddy that was just kind of moving across some chords on his guitar. Um, you know, it's all great things, they're not copyrighted. Uh, the, they usually, for the voice samples, are using like movie, serious lines for movies and then for the the uh, audio it's like piano or keyboard or something like that that's some, in, in some type of jazz chord, chord progression um, so this isn't necessarily true but it's really about like the sound that it's creating um, again when I went on YouTube and looked at these things I found that they're super complicated and not very performable so this is something that you could totally just take and perform um, so, you know, you could just, I've got this queued up, just looping, I've got the clock here, I'm just going to play the, the sample, you know, get that going. You can hear that it's kind of got a lot of noise. I did that by taking the line in, and I leveled the morphogene up, and I'm really heavy on the inside. And I'm driving the out really high in the modular, turning down the, the actual source so that I can just drive it as much as I can. And, you know, because all of those lo-fi have a lot of noise in the background. I'm going to go ahead and clock these things, make it a little more interesting decreasing the gene size so it's smaller so you can hear like a gap between it and then I'll unmute one of these so you can kind of hear it's you know playing to the to the music it's progressing through because I've got the clock having it move through the genes and the play controlling the plays you know, if you change this, it changes the characteristic of it, makes it still, it's going to be playing in line with the clock, but this makes it more audible if I decrease the gene size. Then I'm going to take the smooth out, patch that to the very speed, and just barely... have it, you know, because they always have it sounding like it's coming from a really bad record, so you can kind of get that really bad record sound, if you get that right, you can change the characteristic of those drums, I can add in another couple sounds, I got the clap going on. You got this plane already, it sounds a lot like a lo-fi aesthetic. We can add in the mimeophone. 
to really build in more layers of sound and fill it out. If we clock that too, it'll help it just like kind of keep a, a rhythm to it even in the in the repeats. We want to get more modular with things and get a little more weird with it, less less hip hoppy. Can take some of these other sound sources and modulate things. Get some really wild drums. Switch that to band pass if you want to isolate different portions of it. You know, so here we're moving, taking that lo fi aesthetic and bringing it more into a modular style where we've got sounds that are not typical. If you want to take the noise out, one of the VCOs. You can really get some and move the slide or I could run the channel of the maths either to the slide that'll cause it to start at different points and I think it kind of causes it to reset as it's moving along or you could Put on the gene size. If I have a smaller gene size, it's kind of nice to have it decreasing the gene size or increasing the gene size. If you want to, you know, find different octaves or the same thing, kind of keep it in tune. But the lo fi aesthetic, you know, isn't generally super in tune you know again with that band pass you can totally change the characteristics of that throw back in my sample again Yeah, and that's that's generally how it goes. Um, I'll kind of mess around in here and add a couple more weird sounds, and then I have a performance. I actually did this with at the end.
Imagine it however you like. 